what do you see as the future of where we're going? And if someone truly wants to live a happier, more fulfilled life, what can they do in the face of the next decade of just distractions? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't think it's going to get easier for anyone with the accessibility to addictions, things, mm -hmm. access, the now gratification. Yeah. You know, think back to, um, to our prehistoric ancestors. Can you imagine going out on a hunt for a woolly mammoth? How much fun that must yeah, have been. Yeah, man. It'd be scary, fun, exciting. All oh, yeah, things. like you're with your buddies, like yeah, the yeah. tribe. You all depend upon one another. You all got a role. It's life or death. You could come home dead. You know, you're going to bring home meat. I bet that we don't experience anything like that our whole life that was as much fun as that. Wow. Related to that, um, you know, like, like everyone, I started out life um, poor, uh, mm -hmm. you know, as a poor medical student. Um, and now, I, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm financially more comfortable. And there are things I miss about being poor. Isn't that interesting? Did, did, have you noticed I, that? I, I was sleeping on my sister's couch for a year and a half. Uh huh. No money. Broke. Eating uh, mac and cheese and leftovers from her. Yeah. I didn't have a car, so I'm walking everywhere and just like living by, I don't know, a couple hundred bucks a month. Yeah. And there's something about that time that I'm like, God, it was so exciting to see, like, what could I create from this space of nothing? Yeah. You're, you're strategizing. Yes. Little wins are huge. Huge. <laughs> oh, someone said yes to meet with me. It was like all these yeah. things. So a, a, as, our, as our society progresses farther and farther away from scarcity, we lose those mm. opportunities to have these incredibly big wins that are going to change our life. Um, and, and so we, we overeat on junk food. We, we spend time with these trivial nonsense pleasures on our cell phones because the big things are no longer in our life. It's no longer about finding sources of food to survive. It, it's now about, you know, how, how many views am I going to get with my latest post? It's not the same thing. So what can we do over the next five, 10 years as these distractions are going to become more prevalent? We've got to think about meaning. We, we've got to think about what is meaningful. Um, so for me, you know, writing books has become so meaningful. And, and it's nice and hard. Uh, and, and sometimes it makes me miserable, which is good. Um, you, you've got to find something that's hard, that, that will involve failure, because that's how hard it is. Um, you, you can't you can't choose an easy life. Really? Yeah. What happens if we choose an easy life? We become miserable. We become miserable, bored, fat, sick, diabetic, um, all of those terrible things. Do you have a chapter or a place in here that talks about meaning and finding meaning? It's my next book. That's the next book. That's the next book, yeah. What is that one about, the unconscious mind? It's about the unconscious mind, yeah. And um, What is the unconscious mind versus the conscious mind? A lot of people have seen these, these pictures of the mind uh, as an iceberg, right? Where there's this little teeny part above the surface and the huge mass is below the surface. Mm -hmm. That's the unconscious mind. The unconscious mind is responsible for everything that goes on inside our heads that we don't have control over. Emotions, excitement, enthusiasm, interest. Most people don't think about this. You don't control what you're interested in, you know? How do you, I mean, really? Do you, somebody like football? Okay, uh, I personally don't like football. There's right. nothing I can, well, I kind of do, but not that much, but there's <laughs> nothing I can do to make myself passionate about here's, football. Here's the thing. I'm going to challenge you on this and tell me if I'm wrong. I never liked soccer. I played uh -huh. it growing up and then I stopped playing it when I was a, a sophomore in high school and I started playing football. Um, and then I was like, I never want to watch soccer. The only time I was interested in soccer was during the World Cup when I was like, okay, I can get behind everyone going out and like watching game and supporting the USA, right? But I never wanted to watch until a few years ago. I was just telling uh, one of our producers here, Mike, that I, I went to a couple LAFC games, their L LA football club soccer uh -huh. team, right? Yeah. And I was like, this is incredible. The energy, the experience. I got to know the players and I was like, became interested in the sport of soccer. And I was like, I want to go to more games. Yeah. So how does that, like, what does that mean then? If I'm not interested, but then I become interested in something. Right. So we talked about, um, we talked about this pastor who took a uh -huh. month off uh -huh. and boom, the idea hit him. Yes. That came from his unconscious mind. He didn't dig it up, right? right? It came to him. You went to the soccer game 
and you were given a gift. Uh-huh. You were given the gift of excitement. Yes. Uh, you didn't work for that. Exciting, yeah. Right. That that was a gift from your unconscious mind, and, and that's why trust is so important. That we have to trust that these gifts will come.、Mm. We try to squeeze our unconscious mind and force it to give us things. It's going to rebel.、Uh, we, we've got to kind of go through saying, "Look, I'm not. I've got a co-pilot, or, or maybe I'm the pilot. Maybe the other guys. Maybe I'm the co-pilot. Maybe the other guy's the pilot and in charge."、Mm. But it, 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 it's it's a realization that you cannot control everything. That you have to be open to gifts that come from the unconscious mind. So it's kind of like being curious about life. Okay, yeah, I'm going to try this thing. I'm going to check this out and see how it makes me feel. Yeah, yeah. Can I tell the story I wanted to、Bring、tell?、It. Yes. So, um, so I did this TEDx talk, right? Yes. And it's a big deal. Yeah. And I practiced four years that, ago, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I, I saw... practiced that every day for a month. That's great. Great speech. Thank you. Thank you. Every day for a month. Every single day. Well, five days a week. Uh, when I went to work,、uh, first thing I did, first thing in the morning, is I ran through that speech.、Wow. All right, so I get there. We do a dress rehearsal.、Uh-huh. Get up there, and I'm giving my speech. I draw a blank halfway、uh-huh. through. Nothing. I, I'm sweating.、Okay? Dress rehearsal. Dress rehearsal. I got nothing, and I'm I'm terrified. And 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 and, and there's a dinner that evening, and I, I skip the dinner. I go back to my hotel room, and I'm memorizing, memorizing. So now. It's the day of the thing, and、um, I'm about to go out, and, and I realize I say, "Look, I didn't shirk. I wasn't lazy. I did everything I could, and it wasn't enough." Wow! And so I said to my unconscious mind, "We're all in this together. Be a pal and help me out." <laughs> you, you know, I acknowledged that、mm. I didn't have control,、ah. and and I was happy with how it went. My unconscious mind came through for yeah, me. That was great. But it came through for me as a friend, not as a servant. I didn't order it; I asked it. So, what happens to people who are extremely controlling in their life versus、yeah. people that are more、yeah. in surrender? Yeah, those controlling people don't do well. Really, and, and a lot of times, you know, the unconscious mind has a sense of humor.、Um, you know, you know about the Freudian slip, right? Yes. A lot of times, the Freudian slip will reveal a truth that you were trying to hide, but the unconscious mind says. Tough luck.、Uh, you said this, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So、um, people are always trying to be in control. Their unconscious mind is constantly sabotaging them. So the unconscious mind is in control. It, 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 we share control. We share、gotcha. control, and we need we we need、like、to two, work as a partnership.、Pilots. Yeah,、okay. it's a partnership. And, and if you try if you try to be the、um, the tyrant,、um, like the people who are very much in control, the unconscious mind is going to mess with you. But you know, it's funny. Sometimes things that we don't have but we want. Give us more joy than the things we have.、Um, Why is that? The things we desire. Yeah, there's a great quotation、um, from the book The House at Pooh Corner. Did、okay. you read that? Winnie the Pooh. Yeah, yeah Winnie yeah, the Pooh. I love yeah, children's yeah. literature. Yeah, yeah, so good. Yeah. So, anyways, Christopher Robin asked 